Hello everybody, it's me Heather and it has been a while and I just want to say really quick that this will probably be the last video you see from me in a while. I'm not quitting YouTube but again I'm on one of my really long hiatuses from uploading and honestly if any of you are active on YouTube, if you create content yourself, you know there's a lot of changes going on and so anyways right now this will be the last video you see from me for a while, but I definitely owe this company a video. It's whoa, way overdue. I should have done this months ago, I'm sad to say, so I feel bad that I put it off this long. This is the English Mineral Makeup Company. So as you can tell, this is a company from England, and they specialize in mineral makeup. It is 100% organic cruelty free and it's even vegan friendly so if for those of you that like more natural makeup you'll love this brand they have really awesome products they have gorgeous packaging but not without fault I will talk about that a little um, I did a full face using their makeup and a couple of items from my personal collection that are not so natural but I'll mention those during the video so first off let's talk about the packaging really quick so whenever you order a foundation, which comes in mineral form, of course, comes in this gorgeous box and that I just had to keep, absolutely love. And they got the little ribbon on there, so nice attention to detail. With every mineral makeup purchase, so if you get a foundation, for example, they will give you a complimentary kabuki brush. This one's really cute. It's a little bit dirty since I used it, but... This is really cute, but I have to admit, this one I prefer to use for blending a product out uh, since I obviously like a heavier coverage makeup. And I, honestly, you can always tell I'm very dramatic with my makeup application. So for those of you that like something more natural, this will give you that more natural look. You don't have to be as dramatic as I am. Now, the other products that you order come in these cute little pouches. Again, this is something you want to keep. You don't want to throw away. So great attention to detail on their packaging. And it feels kind of like velour. It feels like velour. It's very pretty, very nice. A little drawstring bag that contains the product. So here's one, and here's what the actual packaging looks like for the products. They have a range of everything. I've got a good mixture of their products here. So this is one of the items that I was honestly the most excited about. This is one of their illuminating powders. And it's honestly the one I was the most disappointed by. I hate to say that, but it's true. But I was excited about this one because, you know, highlighting is fully on trend right now. Whether you call it baking, highlighting, illuminating. And they actually have a straight up a gold powder. It's going to take... A moment for my camera to be able to even take in all this awesomeness so the concept of this particular item is gorgeous but here's where the packaging and in this case the formula on this particular item not so great but that's just my opinion so see on top of it, it says English mineral makeup very pretty and then you pop this open and it does have a mirror which is always good my mirror is dirty since I used it these do not have a sifter which is always a problem with mineral makeup. Brands need to have a sifter. You need to be able to turn that off so that product isn't flying everywhere. So instead of using a sifter, it comes with a makeup sponge that you basically use as your sifter. So when you're not using it, you want to keep the sponge and put that in there. The moment I open this particular product, it just flies everywhere. I have, unfortunately, not a shimmer powder. It's more like a glitter powder, which is messy it's very messy and unfortunately I don't know how well you can see on camera but in person it literally looks like I just took some craft store glitter and put glitter on here and when you see me apply this later in the video you'll see that I actually have to press it into my skin just like you would with glitter I can't blend it on like you would with a powder because if you blend it on it just flies everywhere and doesn't stick to your skin so this this isn't a particular product I would recommend and again the packaging although at first glance you're like oh this is so cute this is so pretty the moment you see that you have no sifter and you have to remove a sponge it's a mess but the rest of the products that I have here are absolutely gorgeous I absolutely love the formulas even though the packaging again I have a big mess here to clean up but 
I will show you everything else I have during the tutorial. I have foundation, I have a color corrector that I use as a concealer or brightener, I have bronzer, I have blush, and I also have, what am I forgetting? Bronzer, blush, highlighter, no, I got it all. We got foundation, we got blush, we got bronzer, we got what I call the illuminator or highlighter, the color corrector and the bronzer, yes. Got everything here. So go ahead and check out my face of the day using all these products as I walk you through it and what I think of it. And then stay tuned for the end of the video for a little more information. Okay, I've already cleansed and moisturized my face. Now this, I'm just using some primer. This is the blur stick from Milk Makeup, highly recommended. All right, starting off with the foundation. This is in the shade Warm Light, perfect match for me in MAC foundations. I'm usually in NC35 or NC37. This applies best for me using a buffing brush or you can use a kabuki brush. The brush they gave me is very pretty. It's called the Gold Kabuki and you can purchase that one on their site, but it's really fluffy, so that one's better for blending out. But this foundation is very buildable finely milled and you can build it up to full coverage. So now I'm using one of their tone correctors. This is in the shade yellow and I'm using it to brighten my under eye area as well as the inner corners of my eyes. I'm just using a small buffing brush and again very buildable. You could also just mix this in with your foundation to alter the shade if you need a little bit more yellow in there. But again, I just love the way it brightens. Okay, something for my personal collection. I'm going to put some eyebrows on really quick. And I've been using this forever. This is just the MAC uh, Brow Gel Cream in Dirty Blonde, even though I'm not rocking blonde hair at the moment. Taking a break from blonde hair. But I love, you know, being blonde. But every once in a while, it's nice to take a break from the chemicals. And after all, I am wearing organic makeup right now. So, all right, this eyeliner... Sorry, you're not really going to be able to get this one. This is a Pat McGrath eyeliner that I got with her Metal Morphosis kit. But if you can get your hands on one, highly recommended. I love that fine point just for doing a nice, nice dramatic but not over dramatic eyeliner. And just some limited edition mascara. I'll go ahead and fast forward this part. You guys don't need to watch me put on mascara. It's a little bit boring. Okay, now I am going in with this bronzer. Oh my God, this bronzer is amazing. It's super buildable. This is the shade Soft Bronze. And it's just, first I'm just carving out my contour where I want to be contoured. This has a really, this is a really pretty shade that'll work on a lot of skin tones. It has a little bit of shimmer to it. It honestly reminds me of almost like a loose form of the Hourglass bronzer. So if you ever tried the hourglass bronzers and you like those you'll like this formula they're very similar except for this is in loose form so after I put it where I want it I just use one of these little uh, what do they call these brushes little sponge brush whatever they call those and just blend out my contour now I'm going in with the blush this is in the shade coral this is a really fun shade I obviously put a little too much on but I want to make sure you guys could actually see it on camera but yeah, great pigmentation. Now I'm using the Gold Kabuki just to blend that out a little bit. And now lastly, I'm going in with the Ethereal Body Glow. So as it does suggest, this probably would be better for using on your body instead of your face. This is more or less a loose glitter. It's very chunky. In order to apply it, I have to press it into my skin. I can't just blend it on because then it flies everywhere. So really messy. And honestly, I wouldn't recommend this item, but I love everything else that I used. All right, just wiping off my lip balm, putting on a lip liner from Marc Jacobs, following up with uh, the matte lip cream from Marc Jacobs. So just some lip color, and that completes the look. All right, this is my face of the day, dramatic as ever. That's just my style, as you guys know. So go ahead and check out English Mineral Makeup's website. You can go to englishmineralmakeup.co.uk. Yes, because it is an English brand, and they were kind enough to send me their products to try out, and it took me forever to finally make a video about it. So although I'm not a big fan of the overall packaging, because as I said, for me, it's just a huge mess. You know, you have to remove the sponge and then you have to keep the sponge. Don't lose the sponge because if you lose the sponge, 
whenever you open this, this, this up, it's always going to be a mess. So, you know, not travel friendly. This is definitely something you want to keep at home on your vanity, keep in your bathroom, wherever you do your makeup on a regular basis. Um, I hate to say that, but it's just, it's the truth. But the overall formulations are really nice. Everything is very well finely milled, except for, as I said at the beginning of the video, the illuminating powder in gold. It is basically loose glitter and it's just it's just so messy and it's doesn't give us that finely milled highlight that we like that's on trend right now like like in the video it may look like it is but it is just really just like loose glitter here in case just in case this is not showing up let me show you one more time that you can see just like that and let's see if I can <laughs> Put that on the back of my hand. You can see it's chunky, guys. I'm sorry, but it is. It is chunky glitter, and because of all the light reflex, I can't really get it to show up. But yeah, chunky glitter. But go ahead and check them out. They're an independent company, so I'm always a fan of supporting independent brands. They need all the help they can get. And, you know, one out of five ain't bad. So, you know, I mean... If, if, out of all the products, I'm only complaining about one. <laughs> That's actually not bad. So thank you, English Mineral Makeup, for being so generous with your product and letting me test it out. I really do love everything except for obviously the illuminating powder, but that's just preference. And maybe that, you know, maybe it'll start a new trend. Maybe we'll want our highlighters a little more chunky. And then look, you were the first to do it. <laughs> so, okay, guys, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter, although I'm kind of taking a break from social media. I'm not as active as I once was on there, but things change, people change. So go ahead and do that. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to comment and subscribe and yeah, if you're still hanging in there through all the season changes of YouTube, I appreciate you swinging by to check out my video. All right, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, whenever that is.